Hello, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. I'm here on my secondary account for my first attack against our customized 15 versus 15 war, war compliments of Ambria. Um, <coughs> so this is fairly exciting. They've uh, What they've done is selected a couple of captains who have chosen their teams, created a secondary alliance, and then... Yeah, started a war against that alliance. So we've got Invictus Army versus Invictus Horde. So far, Invictus Horde is actually ahead with one attack, five-star attack. Um, I am going to go ahead and attack their 15, Xander. So let's go ahead and scout this out. I am doing this attack off of my phone. Uh, it seems that it should be pretty simple. I am going to take this one straight on from up here. Uh, the reason being that I can go ahead and snipe that, probably get rid of a couple of those, and then I'm going to actually probably force target the town center uh, immediately thereafter. I think I'll probably throw my heavy in there. Or draw the catapult fire. But prior to that, we need some troops. Oh, let's see. What do we have in there? Oh, there's an artillery in there. Let's go ahead and attack. So, oh no, my army's all messed up. This as a result of my playing around earlier. Um, there we go. So now we've got an army and we're ready to go. Uh, we are going with 59 of these elite longbowmen, uh, one cataphract, and I do have some mercenaries. I've got some Greek javelineers. Looks like a Persian heavy cavalry and a war elephant. Not yet a mahout. Tactics, I'm going with a couple of sabotage that I'll use if necessary. However, I'd like to get my British troops in there with the five uh, so that I don't actually have to. Uh, I don't actually have to use a tactic on that city center. If necessary, however. Oh, Xander five starred me. If necessary, I will go ahead and do that, but let's see how we can do. And again, this attack comes to you with a sleeping child. We're doing the single finger drop and go over to that. Let's just get you guys all on that, so we're not confused. Oh, sorry, I lied. I'm gonna go there. Sabotage those. The mercenaries in there. Be too difficult, I don't think. Get all the way through here. I'd like to see my troops actually sticking together a little bit better. Uh, let's see if we can't get a... Hmm. I don't want to separate them. I do want to separate them. There. I'm going to get them all over here. Hopefully that'll allow for enough time. <laughs> Go to bed, sir. That's my two-year-old. Two-year-old? Being very two-y. Yes, you are indeed. Now the key here is going to be speed rallies. I think this is going to be a very close war. So what it really is going to come down to is the ability to actually keep your troops moving. 
Um, so with that said, we're going to use as many rallies as possible before we're through this base. Eighteen, seventeen. Eight, seven, six, bike track. <laughs> Three, two, one, zero. And there we go, with 28 seconds to spare. I'm very happy with the outcome on that. I, yeah, lost a lot of troops. Well, not a lot, but I lost some of the troops, but it's the way it goes. So that brings it uh, to a tie. So five to five, we'll have to see how it actually looks. Oh, see, and he beat me. He beat me. He went through my base in a minute 54. It took me two minutes and 13 seconds. Eesh, that's a little bit scary. Maybe I should have gone with some raiders. However, nonetheless, hopefully we can make up that time because I think that's what it's going to come down to. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. <laughs> Keep your sticks on the ice. Good time.